Greetings, Internet. Welcome to Aaron Plays. This will be my third episode of the Malaya campaign from Pacific War, where I'm playing the Allied forces, and my opponent, Steve, is playing the Japanese. We've completed, almost completed two battle cycles on the last few phases of the second, and then we'll be going through into the third. So, continuing, we have the Japanese forces invading at this point here and fighting battle here. See, I, I, can't, I can't actually remove move his troops. I have no access to his battle display. I'm showing you my forces here. So we will continue. So we're in the joint activation deactivation phase. So he can again activate forces um, up to 10 command points worth. I have no more command points, so I can't activate any of my other troops. Let's move through the sequence. So at the joint activation deactivation phase, he then said he's completed and We then go to removal of day marker, day marker adjustment. So we are at, we were on day six, we're now on day eight. The eight cycle through the, the battle cycle is two days. I use this because it is wibbly wobbly, it's actually two days in real time because some things happen. Um, in certain sequence, I mean, they can march quite a distance in two days, yet the ships can only move fortunately a lot less. So, yeah, um, it's wibbly wobbly the time factor, but it sort of works. Okay, so if you're following along here, lighting condition, this is going through the sequence of play as we go through, as we're updating it. So the lighting condition, which let's get on track here. Okay, so doesn't use his option with him being the operations player with a surprise attack. Initially, he could replace this on anywhere on the cycle, or which is he's used instead, he can move it on two spaces once in the op the operation. Uh, I just say that we're entering battle cycle three. Okay. I, yeah, I'm ticking away because we'll obviously lighting condition comes back up. Waiting for option U. So he's now decided not to move it from there to there, but he's jumped it two spaces. So it's now day PM. Lower that down. Okay. Need to do various things off screen at the present moment. Right. So it's now advantage determination. So as he's a surprise player, he gets a plus two bonus for this. And it says initiative roll, jam, jam plus two. Okay. Roll to seven, which is nine. There's no point in me actually rolling because if I draw, if it's a draw, if I'd rolled a nine, as is the um, surprise attack condition, he wins the tie. So I didn't even bother to roll. We now go to advantage movement. Okay. And he's doing his ground troops first. Okay. As they're moving along this trail, it's two movement points per hex. If he goes moving through this kind of terrain jungle, that would have been three. This is clear, and which would have been two. And this here is mixed, which is six. So effectively one X. But they're moving along a trail, so that's two points per hex. And then he goes to naval. Searching. I'm not searching at this present moment in time. Um, I'm waiting to see. Because you can only search each hex once per cycle. 
Right, task force one. So he's doing a search from task force one onto force four. Okay, and F16, force 16. To my force 16. Yes. So that first hex, task force movement, task force two is moving. Task Force 1 is moving. Mid search, Force 16 to F5 by Force 5. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, two, two hex, second hex of movement, and pile. Okay, advantage air mission. So he's doing a strike. All my forces in here. If we can zoom that in a bit more. There we go. That might make it a bit easier to see what's going on. Where the aircraft are coming from. All amassing. Here they come. We then put, okay, so this is my force four, okay, which was there, and his aircraft, we then put them onto the battle display. And though it says, say, this is for naval units, we decided this is useful for all combats, takes it off the board and clutter. Uh, about my targets. Okay. I needed a six to detect this raid coming in. Oh, the light. Good guys. So everything of mine is on the ground. No cap, nothing. You line them up against the required targets. So he's strafing, starting with this one here. Left to right, need 773. He's looking at the 7, 7, and this one has got a 5. Because it's got two hits, makes it a 3. Rolls a 0, a 4, and a 9. I think that completely finishes my Air Force. It does. They're all gone. Shot up on the ground. I mean, if they got up into the air, at least they might have shot one back, but no. And then bomb run versus the ground unit. Use a five or less again on this counter. He's looking at the five that's just after the blue five there. That's the ground attack value. So it's a five. Hit. I've got to do a troop quality check. The troop quality is three. Or zero. Loving it. My flak one back, that's from the base. Score a hit. I took a hit on onto this aircraft here. And then everything returns back. Lower that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Not sure why we're ringing things here. Talk about forces, another airstrike coming through. Can't target the same hex. Coordination roll, E3 or less. Of course they are. And he's bringing them to attack. Singapore. And this is where we had a big discussion, and it's, this has, has also continued on to War Game Geek. Can he actually target the task force? He reckons he can. I reckon he can't. Looks like he's correct. 
don't go and find the discussion on it. It's, it's, it's long and it's winded and it's not very clear. But, you know, I think I'm going to have to concede at the end. Turns out he doesn't want to attack the task force. He wants to attack Singapore next. But I was surprised that he could target because he had the task force because they were at that point undetected. Okay. So he's it in the ground units. Softening up basically. Bottom to top, need a seven. Yeah, and then a five. On the bottom, sorry, look at the bottom here. So all you can do, the maximum you can do is troop quality check, and they can only check once per phase. So he's got it on his first roll, doesn't need to turn any further. I've got a troop quality of four, that front mode digit. No. So looks like that box means that they're, they're, they're broken. Top unit, need a five or less, gets it. Troop quality of three, no. Oh dear. Black of seven, so that's the four from the base and the three actual ground units. Yeah, two, that shoots one aeroplane. Putting everything away, boom, 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 boom. So, yeah. Okay. As an advantage, naval combat determination, there is no naval combat. There's, there's no navies in the same hex. Bombardment. Demolition. I think I want to keep on blowing up these air bases to force five. So my guy's here. All right. Let's just go down a bit. Force five. Needs a, a three to demo. It's a troop quality check. Right. Ground combat. There is none. Airfield repair. Rally, none of these. Oh, there is, yes, there is 460 needs a true, true quality too. So I'm trying to rally this unit here. Can only attempt to rally one unit in an, any broken unit, one unit there. If he rallies, then they'll both rally. True quality two. Do I get it? Do I get it? Nine. No. No, they're unhappy. Um, I'm reading all accounts of the. Singapore, they're probably playing tennis still. You know, um, so quite a lot of the civilians are playing tennis, sort of almost in denial that, you know, there's large forces of Japanese troops approaching. Rally to disadvantage movement, so I can move stuff. Yay! Naval. Okay, so now that I know the rule that task forces are auto detectives. Well, look, actually, I should say that they're not detected. Okay, I think Mr. Harmon has, has said that they're not detected, but if you can target anything in a hex, I think the word he used is moot. You can, if you're in a hex, you can attack it because there's a force there. You can target anything. So detection, as Mr. Mr. Designer has said, is moot. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, I don't think you should be able to target my task force. Um, I, I used a real life example. Let's go. Let's look at Midway, where the Japanese were going to do a ground uh, attack the Midway Islands. So they loaded all their planes up with bombs that could deal with ground troops and ground installations. They then get information such through that they found the American fleet. They changed all their weapons on the aircraft because they needed armored piercing. And that's when the actual Americans hit them because they had all their planes on the, on, the, on deck. So if that's the case, if he's flying over in this example, my task is coming to hit by force because he detected forces because all forces are detected. Um, he should be armed with bombs to hit my ground troops and the installation, i.e. Singapore, the actual fortification. To be able to target the task force means a complete different weapons loaded, which... He would need to be able to take the task force. But, okay, came over to the game designer. No, if you in a hex and you can you can target the hex, you, you fly into there, you can hit anything that's in, that's in there. It seems a bit strange. Maybe, it's, again, this wibbly-wobbly time thing that, you know, each of these is two days. A raid could, 
could be done in four or five hours. So they fly over and oh look, there's a fleet there. Then then let's hit the fleet. Let's do it that way. I don't know. It does seem a bit strange, but that's what has come up on um, some constant message and on board. So I decided to move my Navy out of um, there, so it's not auto detected or ought to be able to be attacked. Sorry. Um, my 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 rules thing, you know, the very first sentence of the rules of detections is to be able to attack something, you must have detected it. First sentence, clear as mud. Well, no, that's very clear, but the rest of it from there makes it clear as mud. Over. Move on. Move on. That's my first X. Um, and then my second X, I moved to there. Backing out because I've seen the power of his Air Force. Okay. Did I do any ground movement? Force four. It's troops. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I was deciding to move the troops out of here. Um, then move them back. I thought, well, do I want to move them out? Do I not? So I want to. I want to be able to blow the airbase. If I can't blow the airbase up at the moment because my long range aircraft is there, which I'll be moving in the long range in movement, and then it's my disadvantage air mission phase. And they move to there. Okay. Joint deactivation activation segments. Again, he can activate 10 more points worth of troops. 10 more one points worth. I still have none. Detection removal and day marker adjustment. So looking at the day sequence. Okay, we were on day eight. 10th day of the operation. This is still the first operation that we're going through. Okay, and now we're into a new battle cycle. It's lighting. No, I will co I'll continue this video. We might as well finish this um, lighting conditions. Now it has to go to dusk. We've got no further option. On, on there. So this will be dust, the next one will be night, and we'll follow that sequence from there. Light determination, again, he's got a plus two modifier. Rolls a five. Hey, I really, you know, my guys really, really want to actually be motivated to gain, gain the initiative here. Uh, no. So advantage movement, naval first. Initial search. Or 16. Oh, let me just line this up properly. Okay. You've got an LRA there, long ranged aircraft. He's looking for my Task Force One, which is way over here. I think you needed a zero on that check. So. Four sixteen R oh, test force one. My four sixteen. Oh no, it was me searching. <laughs> Sorry, it's me. Four sixteen. I've got an LRA in there looking for his task force one. I rolled a one. Yes, I detected. Hence why he's being flipped over to the detected side. Okay, his first exit of movement. These guys pull back, and they move forward. Interesting. Mid searches, his second hex he moves in there. He knows what's in these hexes now because he's done enough searches on, on them. Um, and his final ground stuff. None of his ground forces moved. Air missions. Now, this is at dusk. So if he does do any air missions, they'll be landing and probably taking risky landings because they'll be in classes of night landing. Um, but he is targeting, and they come. You know, they're lining up, 
Do I detect them? I do. Flak was zero. Is that my flak? Bun run versus ground. So rather than moving on to the battle ball, because it's just straight, I mean, this force here has got my unit here. Okay, so I hit the one with flak, so it's taking a step loss there. Yep. And then one run versus the ground unit, need a five and a two, gets the hit. Troop quality three check, still loving it. They pass and those aircraft return. Dusk landings. Okay, so because of the landing, you take, they've got to get better. All right, all right, yeah. Then three times their level, or is it the other way around? Basically, level two aircraft. Um, in the sequence, okay, okay, so L2 times three is six. So six or less, they're okay. Three or less, they're okay. And pretty much level zero. They need a zero to land successfully. If they fail to make the roll, they take a step loss. Okay. Okay, so that must have been those three and the five there. Okay, so that was his. I think he took a step loss on the level one. Bomb run over there. Long range aircraft. One, two, three, four, five, six. His range is 16. So, yeah, that's fine. So, here they come. Okay, detection roll, we detect them. We get flak. Ah, no. Brown versus round, ground, three times, lots of five. Yeah, it gets it. My troop quality is three. No. Total command of the air. Dust landings here. Level two, six or less. Level one, three or less. One of them landed okay, one of them lost a step. So. Okay, that's that done. Oh, the map's moved for some reason. Put that back. Keep my, everything visible for you guys. Okay, naval combat. Again, there's no naval combat. There's none of our foes, navies in the same map. Bombardment. So he's going to bombard from here onto my... My stubbornly resisting troops needs a four or less. Yeah. My troop quality is three. They fail as well. They could take the, the air bombardment, but they couldn't take the Navy. So again, I put a little box around it to show it's broken. Okay. Demolition. Yeah, I'm going to try and demolish near troop quality three because this is the base demo demolishing itself. Which, um, look at the base there, it's, it's a three troop quality. The troops are in there, I've only got a troop quality of two now because it's half rounded up. So, three, <sighs> three, and that was the other one. There was another one to try and get yeah, trying to knock out the, the. I do not want to give him any air bases effectively. Was, you know, if he's working from air bases that are here or here against Singapore, it's very close. At least if they were still back here, I know, I know he's got really long range aircraft, but I mean, I haven't got anything to challenge you there anyway um, at the present moment. What's in you know, the quality of his aircraft to mine is ridiculous. But that's the, the, the state we're in at, the, at this stage of the war. Um, for airfield repair, none have been damaged. Rally. This is where I try to rally my troops again. Okay, so in that hex there, the troop quality is three, which is hard to two, hard rounded up. So I need a two or less. Troop quality two. Woohoo! So they took the air bombardment. They got a bit scared by the naval bombardment, but they rallied quickly. So those are the 22nd Indian Brigade. 
Well done, lads. Okay. In Singapore, true quality two, nay. And then in force five, true quality two, no. Disadvantage movement. Okay, so it's over to me to move. Okay. Naval, I decided, let, let's see if we can do anything about this chap here. Yes, I've gone back into Singapore, but um, ground stuff. Force 4 abandons the airbase. Comes into Force 16 in Singapore. Move the four, amalgamate the forces. Air missions. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, what's he going to do? I mean, that's six steps, and he's got a, a, a one on naval. I mean, I don't know what aircraft this is representing. Obviously, it's level zero crew, so they're as green as green can be. Poor equipment, poorly trained. Nah. I decided not to even risk it. Okay. And that actually because brings us to the next joint activation, deactivation, and that ends the log file. So that's where we are at the present moment. So during that, we, we were playing a bit quicker. I get a bit of familiarity. Also, there's not that many forces on the actual map. Um, so start a new log file. No. We'll be continuing that at some point soon. So yeah, it's it's small enough you can see the sequences. Um, there's a, it does raise some interesting rules questions, but generally the game flows nicely. I I like the game. Don't get me wrong. I mean, though there are some glaring things that need clarity or clarifications, or the errata needs to be tightened up. The rules definitely need to be tightened up. Um, I haven't been playing this for 35 years, so I don't have that experience. I'm, I'm, I'm learning the game as, as I go. So um, all I can say is thank you for watching. We'll carry on with episode four, where we'll get further into this battle cycle, and then on to the next. So hope you've enjoyed it. Hit the like if you have done so. It's very important to the channel for, you know, for spending the algorithm on YouTube. Subscribe if you want to, if you haven't done so already. Again, subscriptions, love them. And comments, always much appreciated. So I'm now going to search for where my mouse is so I can go to the actual stop the program on this. Got the more. So until next time, bye, Internet.